What's going on everybody? It's Refraff 1988 and today we're going to be doing Blood Magic Tier 2 Altar. Now the Tier 2 Altar doesn't add that much to the game, but it is the step towards the obviously the Tier 3 tall, Tier 3 Altar, which we're going to show you how to make in a second, but it does add these three sigils here. And the mining sigil the, the air sigil and the void sigil and we'll show you what those do in a second but we'll build the altar first and now what I like to do is put a block in the center then you're just gonna surround it with our blood runes and I'll show you how to make that too so you just click that up top now you've got a tier 2 blood magic altar and the best way to find out if you did this right is to put a piece of stone in your original first altar and once it turns to a slate, we're going to put it in there. And if it changes into a different slate, that means we did the altar right. So we need to get some blood, which I'm using the blood letters pack. is an awesome way to get blood automatically instead of having to sit there and sacrifice your blood with a little knife. So we're going to shift click it in there. And then we're going to put this slate in. And as you can see, the particles are coming up off of this, which is going to give you the next level of the slate but let's look at the recipe for oh I got NEI isn't done okay that's weird anyways I guess we can't look at the recipe <laughs> um, anyways here's the slate you can look up the recipe for the blood ruin inside NEI for some reason my NEI isn't working right now and you can also do that same for this. And this is pretty cheap. It's just a bunch of leather and I think a bucket or something. But let's check out these little sigils right here. So first, the mining sigil. Obviously, it makes you mine faster. But to activate it, you need to right click. And you can see it turning yellow just now. And that means it's active and it'll make you mine faster. Next is the air sigil, which lets you fly sort of you gotta right click it and it'll shoot you into the sky but be very careful with this because it does take life points to run it so you could end up killing yourself and lastly is the void sigil this thing is pretty useful actually these two not so much now with the void sigil let's say you got some oh crap <laughs> I just died well then I'm a long ways away from the thing, but the Void Sigil basically allows you to uh, delete liquids. So if you have oil or water hanging out here, you can right click on the water and it will delete the water. And that was just about all I was going to show you, so I guess it doesn't really matter that I run back over there. But there's not too much to the Tier 2 Altar. Now, Tier 3 adds quite a bit to the game. It adds in some potions and some other things. So, Tier 3 Altar will definitely be a lot more interesting than the first two Altars of Blood Magic. And I'll try to get that video out as soon as I can. I've been sick for two weeks now. And I'm still not quite over it. But as soon as I'm over this sickness and I'm feeling better, we'll be pumping out some more Blood Magic videos and probably a lot of Feed the Beast. So, I guess that's it. If you have any questions, just comment below, and if I can clarify things and whatnot. 